Hi everybody, welcome to another Friday Cocktail Hour. My name is Michael Ruhlman, and today we're doing a cocktail in honor of my wife, Ann Hood, uh, who's holding the camera right now. She requested an amaretto sour. She was perhaps thinking about last winter when we were driving up from Florida to through Savannah, and we had res reservations at a restaurant called The Gray, um, led by Chef Mashama Bailey, who's fabulous um, when restaurants are back up and running. Um, I pray she's doing well, because uh, it's a great restaurant. But we were early, so we went next door uh, down the street uh, to Revival, what was it? Uh, Repeal 33, a Prohibition um, theme bar, and we had an Amaretto Sour. Now, Amaretto sour, Sours are often sort of maligned. Um, and so, unbeknownst to her, I mean, I can, um, a traditional amaretto sour would be um, egg white and amaretto and lemon juice, and perhaps some simple syrup if it was too tart. Um, just a basic sour. But doing a little research into this, uh, the first things that pop up are apparently uh, Jeffrey Morgenthaler's um, amaretto sour. Um, it's all over the internet. Uh, he claims it's the best one ever, so I thought we would try that. Uh, um, and offer that to Anne and see what her um, what her verdict is. So here is an amaretto sour, sour by uh, Jeffrey Morgenthaler, and it begins with, um, of course, uh, an egg white. There's an egg white, and then we will put in our amaretto. Calls for, this is gonna be, I'm making a drink for both of us. So we're gonna be doing um, one egg white for two people, um, three ounces total of amaretto. You know, I'm gonna do something first here before I start adding stuff. I'm gonna get, get this um, egg white going a little bit. I've got a little ball jar here. I'm just gonna give it a shake to start loosening up that egg white. We'll dry shake again before we add the ice. So there is two ounces. We didn't want to get a whole bottle of Amaretto because we don't drink a lot. And it's cheap. And I just spilled my lemon juice. So you're gonna have to wait for that. There's three. And then we're gonna add um, an ounce and a half of bourbon. That's gonna give it a little more punch, a little more flavor. Uh, I think it's a great idea to boost this cocktail. Uh, and then he calls for a couple teaspoons of simple syrup. And then last but not least, lemon. One teaspoon per drink. I'm going to go grab the ice and I'll be right back. Hi. Hi, you want to be on TV? Hi. Here we are with the ice uh, with more lemon juice. Thank you very much. And like so. Uh, and we want a whole two ounces of lemon juice. Mm. That's a lot of lemon juice. But a basic sour is two parts whiskey, one part simple syrup, one part citrus. So this is, the amaretto is very sweet and almondy. And we give this a shake first. Um, you can also use a hand blender if you're doing bigger batches. Um, I've done that before. Um, do not use a Vitamix or Vitaprep. I tried that, I tried that once and we wound up with a whiskey, whiskey meringue. So I'm going to put some ice in here to chill it. So you're shaking it twice or no? I shook it again. Actually, I'm going to make it three times now. It's cool. I don't like to shake too hard because I don't like to break all the ice up. And here is an amaretto sour. Mmm, that looks good. Perfecto. 
Now I'm gonna put, garnish these with a lemon zest. You can also use a cherry or do a little bit of both. And there is an amaretto sour. Wanna get a close up on this? You're beautiful. Well, you take yours. Gorgeous, yum. Here you go. Get my hand in this, all right, folks. Oh, wow, that is delicious. The bourbon really. That's a superlative cocktail. Thank you, Jeffrey Mor Morgenthaler. Um, highly recommend. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh boy, and we're gonna have to get the big bottle of Amaretto. <laughs> <laughs> The poem uh, is also in honor of Anne, um, one of her favorite sonnets, Sonnet 29 by William Shakespeare, one of my favorite poems of all time. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, Desiring this man's art and that man's scope with what I most enjoy, content at least. Yet in these thoughts, myself almost despising, happily I think on thee. <laughs> and then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Happy cocktails, everybody. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Wow, that's badness. <laughs>